Yakitori Sensei from Japan Tree here. Um, JapanTree.com. So, in this uh, in this short lesson, we're going to learn how to read and write hiragana. Hiragana. So this is um, a standard hiragana chart. And it's starting out with the vowel sounds. A, I, U, E, O. Um, and you can use the song to, to learn this. There are hiragana songs on, on YouTube that um, are useful. And there's a link um, in this lesson to those songs. Then. In Japanese, the vowel sounds get combined with the consonant to make the other sounds. So then you have ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Ta, chi, tsu, te. To. Na, ni, nu, ne, no. Ha, he, hu, he, ho. Ma, mi, mu, me, mo. Ya, yu, yo. Ra, ri, ru. De, ro. Wa, o, n. And those are your sounds in hiragana. Um, so taking that first, that first row, a, i, u, e, o are vowel sounds. Um, Let's talk about some mnemonics with them. But before that, um, so these this chart is the fifty the fifty characters. It's actually forty eight um, now, but um, it's called um, it's called the fifty sounds. Um, those 50 sounds, there's also some sound, um, some, some punctuation that modify, modifies the sound on um, a couple of the, the, ro the rows. So the ha row becomes ba, ba, bi, bu, be, bo. Um, and then there are combination um, sounds that are called uh, glides in English um, and so but with all of those combined Japanese has about a hundred and six yes a hundred and six it's either a hundred and six or a hundred and eight possible sounds that a speaker can make a hundred and and six or so sounds as opposed to English, um, they estimate that English has somewhere in the neighborhood of about um, 10,000, I think between 10,000 to 15,000 sounds that a native speaker can make. So basically any kind of sound. <laughs> and, but in Japanese, you have 106 sounds. So um, Japanese has... Mm, I guess you can say amazing standardization of its of the sounds that you're making in Japanese. So it actually makes it a very easy language in some ways as opposed to to English. Okay. But let's do our um our vowel rows with some mnemonics. So let's start just we're just going to start talking about some of the mnemonics that you can use. So so you have a, 
Now this ah, the bottom part of ah here, it looks like it's got a little hidden A right there. So if you can see the hidden A in ah, you can remember ah. E looks like two eels. E you could hear someone screaming because there's two eels. So one eel and the other eel. And that's helpful when you need to remember how to write it. You can remember okay, there's two eels. Ooh. Ooh looks like a sideways U. So if you turn it like this, it looks like a U. So our English U looks like that. My handwriting is terrible, but um, so that's a U. And sideways, it looks like. Wait sideways it looks like that so so if you think of if you make a u and then you turn it then you get an japanese u okay a a it looks like kind of like an exotic bird uh, is a mnemonic that a lot of people have used so this you can think of this little dot that you make at first as being like one of the feathers of the of the bird and this is his the beak the bird's beak and this is its tail yay for my horrible drawings So that's A. Next is O. So O is is like this. So O um the way you can so and sometimes in cursive it'll also it'll loop around a little bit more um, so it almost looks like two O's down here but um, you can remember O because it has a, a complete circle there and it doesn't have a tail coming down to make an A so that way you can distinguish it from ah. So that's your vowel row. 